Welcome to A1. So starting with the driver's side front, the backboards, <laughs> the onboard oxygen, the head blocks, cervical collar, pediatric spine board. Great. <laughs> Moving to driver's side middle. We have the MCI box. We have the road salt. <laughs> we have the flares, crowbar, and other vehicle maintenance items. Your driver's side rear. Okay, we have the stair chair, turnout coats, helmets, the mega mover. This is to an inside cabinet. Control one three one. Very nice. Moving on. This is the back of the ambulance. <laughs> so we have our passenger side rear cabinet. You can take a look inside. So we have our scoop stretcher, our Reeves. Then we have our frack pack. Nice. Wonderful. Here's everything. Moving on. Starting with cabinet one, here's a glance of what you should find in here. Again, this may vary according to the rig check sheet, so you should cross reference. Okay, starting over here, um, everything is labeled really nicely. So you have your pediatric non rebreather over here. Then you have your adult nasal cannula, pediatric non rebreather, pedi pediatric na nasal cannula, your O2 tubing. Then you have a sterile pad over here, triangular bandage. Then again, you have some more types of bandages. Here, there we go. Again, gauze pads. The shiny thing always indicates Vaseline gauze. <clears throat> you have your iPad, medical tape. Moving downwards, Chem and Bio handbook. And your hazmat book, this will tell you about chemicals that are potentially dangerous in EMS situations, and you have a EMS field guide. Okay, what's this? Oh, you guessed it, it's an MPA. All right, moving downwards, you have your rigid suction tips over here. Then you have your trauma dressing down here, and over here you will have your French suction catheters. Okay, you have your OPAs right here, and you have your suction connecting tubing right here. Okay, that pretty much covers it for cabinet one. Any questions? I hope not. Cabinet two. You should have towels, blankets, pillowcases, and stretcher sheets. Um, this is very important to check this cabinet just because we use these on borderline every call. Blankets, towels, stretcher sheets, you always want to make sure we have those. In addition to pillowcases, which are these small guys. Okay, moving on. You have your gloves. Small, medium, large. Traditionally, the tough buck will be here, uh, but it's getting some maintenance right now. So, But usually it'll be here. The radio to dispatch. Control the lights. And of course it turns off right now. I'm turning it back on. Okay, so it controls the lights, the heat. Um... The onboard oxygen, basically anything you need. Let me turn that on and then there we go. Okay, so moving on to cabinet three, you'll have your burn sheets, your suction canisters, oxygen humidifier, and all the types of BPM. In addition, you'll have two CPAP masks. What does CPAP look like? I'll show you. This is what CPAP looks like. You'll have your tubing, you'll have your mask. Um, Yep, and what does CPAP stand for? Yeah, continuous positive airway pressure. Very nice. Over here, suction canister, burn sheets, um, and all your types of BBM as well. Okay, moving on to cabinet four. You have your oral glucose, sterile water, sterile saline, your ob kit, um, and other things you need, basically. <laughs> Remember, which ones have expiration dates? Okay, so 
sodium chloride, that means saline, and sterile water. You're always going to want to take the date that is closer to the current date. Moving on, this is your oral glucose. It's always on these warmers, just so in the cold winter, these items don't freeze. Moving on. So you have your N95 masks. Um, in addition, you have your fluid resistant face masks. Um, these are sanitary pads. And these are infectious control kits. Now these are new additions to our rig due to the recent pandemic, but if you guys are curious, this is what is inside if we were to get a case with suspected or confirmed coronavirus. Moving on. Welcome to cabinet five. So this is what's in cabinet five. Roll of paper towel, bottle of blah, blah, blah. So basically how you clean the ring. Here you go. You got your Lysol wipes, better known as dead baby wipes. Then you have your paper towels. You have a hospital grade disinfectant. Uh, you have more gloves, just in case you run out of gloves in the main compartment I showed you earlier. You have your biohazard trash bags and your normal trash bags. Moving down, cabinet six. You have your portable suction and as well your AED. So with your portable suction to check it during rig check, you're gonna wanna unplug it and you wanna crank that baby to any pressure you desire. What you want to do is check that it is adequately sucking on your finger. If it is, you know the suction battery is working, even though it's not plugged in. Then you're going to go ahead and plug that baby right back in. Okay. Moving on. AED, you're going to take out just the AED. You don't take out this whole bag, right? Just the AED. And inside that... <sighs> Sorry to do this with one hand. Inside this, you're going to be able to see the AED pads. So, pink label means pediatric, and then this one is the adult. Alright. Moving on, you put these guys back. Okay. Alright, once everything is nice and back in there, you go down to cabinet 7. So, cabinet 7 will have your seat collars, head blocks, roll of duct tape. That's not completely accurate. As you can see, the cervical collar and head blocks are over there. Important to note, your pediatric trauma bag is down here. You can open her up inside. A bunch of different things meant for a child. So, you have your infant and pediatric BBM sized masks. Moving over here, you have tubing for the oxygen administration devices, pediatric non-rebreather. Then the best item in the ambulance, a foam ambulance used to alleviate stress for children or adults. And wow, would you look at that? We have two of them. Okay, continuing back. In the sides, you have a pediatric BP cuff and a bulb syringe. Yep, that's good for a baby or small noses. Okay, now moving on to cabinet eight. Here's what you should find in here. Now when you open it, you have your stethoscope, uh, pen light, flashlight, emesis bags. Uh, you have various sizes of blood pressure cuffs, infant, child. Um, and then you have a normal size, an additional one, and then a extra large BP cuff for large size arms. Uh, you have your lancets here. You have additional trauma shears. Um, you have two O2 wrenches, a ring cutter, saline syringes, um, in addition to two cell jets, and you should have eight cold packs right here. Word, that covers cabinet eight. Okay, now moving on to underneath the bench seat okay so you press this lever in order to open up the bench um, under here you have a bunch of miscellaneous items so you'll have your illuminated vest you have a bedpan you have gloves you have chalk um, you have your ladder splints this is a little well-known fact but here they are um, yeah and you also have chalk and 
that giant board. So that pretty much covers it. Okay. Now, last but not least, you have your two onboard oxygen tanks as well. Up there you have a map, two other binders, that's where the driver sits, that's where the crew chief sits. That pretty much covers it.